Quantum creation. Could the universe have come from nothing? For centuries, one of the biggest philosophical and scientific questions has been, why is there something rather than nothing? When we look at the universe, with its galaxies, stars, and planets, it's easy to assume that it must have had an external cause, something that triggered its existence. But what if the universe emerged from nothing, without the need for a creator or a pre-existing reality? This is the bold idea behind quantum creation, a concept suggesting that the laws of quantum physics allow for the spontaneous birth of the cosmos itself. At first glance, this idea seems absurd. In everyday life, things don't just appear out of nowhere. A house doesn't build itself, and an object doesn't materialize without a cause. But the quantum world, the strange and counterintuitive realm of subatomic particles, doesn't follow the same rules as our macroscopic reality. Here, things behave in ways that defy common sense, and something can, indeed, emerge from nothing. How did this idea develop? The idea that the universe could arise from quantum processes has its roots in the development of quantum mechanics in the 20th century. Physicists discovered that at microscopic scales, particles behave in strange ways. They can exist in multiple places at once, appear and disappear randomly, and even affect each other across vast distances. One of the key insights came from Werner Heisenberg, who formulated the uncertainty principle. This principle states that the vacuum of space is not truly empty. Instead, it is a seething sea of energy where particles and antiparticles constantly pop in and out of existence. These fleeting quantum fluctuations might seem insignificant, but they reveal a fundamental truth. At the smallest scales, nature can create something out of nothing, as long as it happens within the constraints of quantum physics. Could the universe have emerged from a quantum fluctuation? In the 1970s and 1980s, physicists began applying these ideas to the entire universe. Nobel Prize-winning physicist Steven Weinberg and others explored the idea that the laws of physics themselves might allow the spontaneous creation of a universe from a quantum fluctuation. Later, physicist Edward Tryon proposed that the universe is simply a large-scale quantum fluctuation. In his view, the cosmos appeared from the vacuum due to the temporary imbalance of quantum energy, similar to how tiny particles emerge and vanish in a vacuum. However, unlike small-scale fluctuations, the universe might have become stable and expanded, giving rise to everything we see today. In the 1980s, cosmologist Alan Goose introduced the concept of cosmic inflation, which suggests that in the earliest moments after its creation, the universe expanded exponentially due to quantum effects. This process could explain how a universe that began as a quantum fluctuation quickly grew to the vast scale we observe today. A more refined version of this idea was later explored by Stephen Hawking and James Hartle, who proposed the no-boundary proposal. According to their model, time itself did not exist before the universe began. Instead of a singularity, an infinitely dense point, the universe started as a smooth, finite structure that naturally emerged from quantum physics. In this view, asking what came before the universe is meaningless because there was no before. Time itself began with the universe. Is quantum creation scientific? Critics argue that quantum creation is still highly speculative. While quantum mechanics allows for particles to emerge from nothing, Applying the same concept to the entire universe is a much bigger leap. The main challenge is that we don't yet have a complete theory of quantum gravity, a framework that combines quantum mechanics with Einstein's general relativity. Without it, we can't fully describe what happened at the very first moment of the universe. Another challenge is defining what nothing actually means. In physics, a quantum vacuum is not true emptiness. It is a state filled with energy and governed by physical laws. But where did these laws come from? Could they themselves have emerged from nothing? Or do they imply the existence of something deeper? Philosophical and Religious Implications If quantum creation is true, it raises profound questions. Does the universe truly need a creator, or could natural laws alone be responsible for its existence? If universes can emerge spontaneously, could this process be happening all the time, creating multiple universes in an infinite multiverse? Religious perspectives often argue that even if physics allows for the creation of a universe, 
It does not explain why the laws of physics exist in the first place. Some theists see quantum creation as a mechanism through which a divine being could have structured reality, while others argue that it challenges traditional notions of a creator. The Great Mystery Quantum creation remains an open question. While it offers an elegant and scientifically grounded possibility for the origin of the universe, it is still incomplete and unproven. The deeper we explore these mysteries, the more we realize that the universe may be far stranger than we ever imagined. Could we one day prove that the universe truly came from nothing? Or will we always be left wondering what existed before existence itself? What do you think? Could quantum physics explain the birth of the universe? Or is there something more? Join the discussion and continue this journey to uncover the theory of everything.